All right, so this is going to be a cool little tutorial on um, how to render out wireframes because, uh, you know, everybody pretty much wants to be able to show a wireframe on the forums or blogs when you want critiques on your model. So this is the way that I do it, and um, I think that it's a really easy way to do it. So I have my model open. This is my little uh, low-poly ant creature, I guess. I based him on an ant and gave him humanoid features. But anyway, the important thing is, is I want to render out a wireframe on him. So first thing I want to do right off the bat is, and this will make sense later, is select the object. I hold down shift and right mouse button and I get the marking menu. Soft, harden edge. Right there. And I want to harden the edges on him. This is also up in polygons menu, normals, harden edge. And you'll notice he has that faceted polygon looking hard edges. It just shifted all the normals straight out on the faces so he doesn't look smooth anymore. But we have him hard. <clears throat> uh, next step will be is I want to go under view and this is in the viewport window and I want to go to camera attribute editor and I want to go into the, these are the camera attributes. You're going to scroll all the way down. You'll see environment. I make my environment color all the way black. I don't want any kind of environment color showing up on this at all. So, environment color for the camera, your perspective shape camera. Close that out. I've made it black. Okay, I also want to go into view, camera settings, resolution gate, and just turn it on and make sure I can see this outline gate here of the what I'm going to get. And then I'll put him in the um, pose that I want to see the wireframe in, and that's good enough for me. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the render settings right here. Uh, can also be found under the rendering tab. Uh, oh, nice. I guess it's under render. Uh, da, 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 da. Hmm. You can see I don't go in here very much. Okay. Well, we're just going to do the render settings off this little tab over here, right here, next to IPR render. And open it up. We're not going to use Maya software. We're going to use Maya vector. Um. If it's not loaded up and you don't see that in the list, you can go into your window, settings, preferences, plugin manager. And I don't go around in here a lot either, but we'll look for it. Vector renderer.mll loaded, auto load. Just make sure they're checked and it's on vector renderer.mll. So I've selected the vector renderer. I don't care if default lights on. I'm not going to mess with any of my settings. If you wanted a different size, make it a different size. I'm going 640 by 480. Perspective window is the window I'm in. I'm going to go over the vector tab, my vector tab. I don't care about any of these options except edge options. I'm going to click include edges and I'm going to go to edge color and I'm actually going to make it white. Edge style outlines, um, entire mesh. I do outlines. Um, edge weight preset, hairline. You can make the edges thick. We'll try a hairline real fast. And basically, that's the settings I need right there. And I'm going to hit render. And there you have it. I'm rendering at 640 by 480, so we get a little jaggies. But basically, that's it. And um, I go back in the render settings and say we increase that to like an edge weight of two for the edges. We'll see what that looks like. Eh, it didn't do too much. They're a little fatter. Um, let's see if I can find one that'll really be obvious. Let's set it to ten. Yeah, there you go. Eh, that's a little too much. I always use hairline. I don't know, but if you think people are have a hard time seeing, then you know, go with that. But hairline seems to work. And there you go. And you can just save it out here, file, save image, and just save it out to your desktop as a JPEG or you know whatever you want to do. And that's basically how I do that. That's how you wi uh, render wireframes.